Prayer is not only the process by which we change, it's also the primary way that our partnership with God is expressed. So in Exodus 33, Moses goes out to a tent to talk to God as a man talks to his friend face to face. And God has told him, Moses, I know your name. You have found favor with me. And Moses has kind of a strange request. He says, if I have found favor in your sight, please show me your ways that I may know you in order to find favor in your sight. Moses' prayer seems a little redundant here, but maybe there's a little bit of a different way to look at this. Let's think of it this way. God, you've told me you know me and that we are working well together. So keep showing me who you are and how you work so that I can get to know you better so that we can continue to work well together. Moses is talking about getting to know God, and this doesn't happen all at once. And the same is true for us. This is a relationship. Getting to know God doesn't happen all at once. This is what Jesus is talking about in John 15 when he says, If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, Ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. Now, this is a staggering promise, but it's like he's saying, make your home with me, get to know me and how I work, and we can work well together to see God's will done in the earth. When we pray the way that Jesus taught his disciples to pray, God, let your kingdom come, Let your will be done. One of the ways that God answers this prayer is in and through us. Our prayers are not only the place of our transformation. They are the thing that propels us into mission with God. Long before we recognize the work that God is doing around us, God called someone to pray. Take, for example, the Old Testament book of Nehemiah. After asking his brother how the people of Jerusalem are doing and being told the walls of the city have been burnt down and the people are vulnerable, Nehemiah goes to rebuild the walls. And there is enemy opposition, but instead of cowering in fear, he tells the people that they need to finish the work. So they hold weapons in one hand and they hold tools in the other and they rebuild the wall. It's an incredible story. But here's the thing. Before Nehemiah ever asks the king that he serves for the resources to rebuild the wall, before he ever goes to investigate the work that needs to be done, before a stone is ever laid in its place, Nehemiah prays for months. Nehemiah was on the lookout for what God was doing, and he was ready when the opportunity came. But he was also convinced that he could not do it without God's help. That was only accessed through prayer. Friends, God is at work. And when we pray prayers like, let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, we can also pray prayers like, God, make me like Nehemiah. Make me the right person at the right place, at the right time, asking the right questions for your glory and for the good of everyone around me.